Chubby or snack. Each interviewee will be given a list of questions to answer, all but one relating to Rec Room. Alright, uh, how long have you been playing Rec Room? I've been playing Rec Room for almost a year now. I think since last Christmas when I got my quest. So I barely oh, got dang. the 2020 class shirt, but I did get it. So, woo Yeah, almost I a year. Didn't, I didn't even... I thought you've been playing for years already. Cool. Um, oh no, only level forty-four. Right, so why do you play Rec Room exactly? Why? Did, that's such a philosophical question. Uh, <laughs> the easy short answer is because I have fun doing it. But I, I think the reason why I have fun is because I get to meet so many awesome new people all the time, like such as yourself. It's weird. I don't know where you are in the world. You don't share that information, but. I, I feel like we're probably on like two very different parts of the world and all we have to do to meet each other is put on our headsets and like we can show up in the middle of a winter wonderland and talk. Uh, to me that's mind blowing. Uh, what do you mostly do while playing Rec Room? I, well, since I have a YouTube channel, I spend a lot of my time in Rec Room uh, recording for my videos. So not as much playing as I'd like. But when I am playing just for fun, I always love doing record originals. I think they're simple. The rules are always the same. Um, they're all populated with a ton of people. I wish that I explored custom maps more. I don't really know enough about them, so I need like an expert to show me at some point to find cool places like this. <laughs> what is your opinion on where Recrim is leading? Like, where it would be in the future, I guess. Oh, my bad. No worries. How, how dare you move? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. oh my god. I got control just on both of my controllers, so it's, oh, oh it's pretty annoying. Oh my god, that's gotta be brutal. I'm yeah. just, I feel so that's bad why I don't, for you. That's why I don't play VR that much. <laughs> Jesus Christ, please. <laughs> Fair enough. Please. <laughs> the dance part. One. <laughs> okay. Alright. <sighs> so. Okay. You good. <laughs> Where do I think Rec okay. Room is leading? I think yeah, what's your opinion on I see a very, very, very bright future. So, the reason why I do Rec Room on YouTube is because I believe it's going to explode in popularity. I think VR is getting more and more widely accessible. It's becoming less expensive, too. I think my headset was 300 bucks or something, which is a lot of money, not crazy. Um, and I, I think as VR continues to grow, you know, Rec Room is pretty much already the most popular game, with the exception of maybe VR Chat. And so more and more people are going to join, I think it's going to explode. I think we're like maybe a year or two out from it being one of the most popular games in the world. And uh, I'm really excited that I got in early enough to, uh, you know, be one of the, the cool, knowledgeable people. Maybe one of the leaders of the community by the time it gets super popular. Hey, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. You just took the words right out of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see Rec Room in 10 years? I don't even know where I see myself in 10 years, let alone Rec Room. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there are very, very, very few video games that have unlimited, you know, potential through time. For example, like Minecraft is still popular. It's been around for, I think, at least 10 years, and it's a very rare situation. I think all the Pokemon games kind of hold that value as well. You could pick up any of them and keep playing. I, I don't know about Rec Room. I, I would be surprised if it was still around and super popular. Not not knocking the game, but just because I think it's almost impossible for any game to really pull that off. Um, but uh, I, I think the game will exist. I don't think it'll be at its peak. And I think that's fine. You know, everything is a life cycle. But I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a little dark after I just, you know, said all those nice things about the game in two years. But I, <laughs> Ten years is no, a long okay. time. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's meant to be like on the spot. It's, it's all right. How has Rec Room impacted you? It has way. impacted me incredibly because of YouTube. It's all connected for me. So Rec Room inspired me to get back into YouTube. And now I've been so like obsessed with YouTube that you know I'm questioning everything about my own personal life. I'm questioning, like, do I want to keep doing my real job? Or do I want to try and make YouTube a full-time thing? Or maybe, like, get a job at a video game company? I don't know. I've just had so much fun doing this 
that I don't want to go back to normal life anymore. I want to. I want this to be a big part of it. I, it's it's brought a lot of happiness to me. How's Rec Room changed? Uh, what you like? How you think about people slash things in real life? It has. Rec Room has this weird ability of making us all seem like really similar to each other. And what I mean by that is like. Sure, we could customize our clothes and, like, our appearances. But for the most part, we're all just floating bobs, right? And, like, I think that's awesome. And why I bring that up is because a lot of the people I talk to in Rec Room, a lot of them are, like, I don't know, like, 14, 15, 16. And I'm pretty old. I'm 25. So, like, in the real world, I would not be talking to 15-year-olds. Not I'm anything against you guys, but I don't see any situations where that would usually happen. Without it being Creed, like, I'm not going to show up to, like, a random school and <laughs> start talking to people there. But, <laughs> no, this platform kind of makes it easy for you to connect with people that maybe you wouldn't otherwise connect with. And I think it's really cool because, you know, some of the 15-year-olds I've talked to are some of my closest friends now in-game. And uh, we talk quite a bit. So, it's, it's pretty cool. If you could change one thing about Rec Room, what would you I don't know if I would change anything... In terms of like, oh, this feature is awful. They have to get rid of it. I wouldn't do anything like that. I think it's a great foundation for now. I would add a lot of things. You know, in, in the game, if I had to give it a score, it's already at like a, a 9.5 out of 10. And I would just, you know, maybe add a few more things to get it up to a 10 out of 10. Um, up to and including, I don't know, there's more Rec Room Originals. I feel like there's a lot of potential there. I, I'm, I'm greedy. I want more. The ones they have are great. I need like 20 others. <laughs> Do you feel like you are more connected to the Rec Room community than in community in real life? Oh, what do you mean by a community in real life? Like, uh, uh, like, like, let's say like a group of people that you hang out with that's as big as uh, like a, a group of people in Rec Room. Like, do you feel you are, or do you feel like you connect with them more and on a regular basis than you do with vice versa yes okay well hmm I, in real life i don't think i'm part of like any like huge communities or anything i mean i have my friend groups i appreciate my friends dearly and they will always be super important to me um i i don't feel like i belong to something massive though so the rec room the rec room community i feel like there's tens of thousands of people here and i feel incredibly connected to, like this huge group so that's a really unique experience. I don't think like, be able to find in the real world without without this. So that's pretty cool. Any positive messages that you would like to share, or maybe a favorite quote of yours that may be inspirational or something like that. You can make something up too if you want. <clears throat> oh, I don't know any off the top of my head, but let's see if I can improvise something. Let's see how wise I am. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, ah, oh god, this is tough. I don't want to sound stupid in the video. I feel like I'm going to say something <laughs> awful right now, and it won't make sense. <laughs> so uh, let, let's make up a quote about the room. Okay, it's never too early to decorate your Christmas tree. It's a metaphor for something deeper, but I'll let you figure it out. It definitely wasn't <laughs> a lazy quote I made up right now.